in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. In this third Sunday of Misra, the the gospel is from the Gospel of Saint Mark, chapter three. And when the scribes and the Pharisees called or accused the Lord and to, and said that he is Baal Zebub. They couldn't stop the Lord from the miracles. Then they started thinking of how can we stop him? Maybe we can ruin his reputation. That's why this ha they had this idea of calling him Baal because there is no justification for all the things that the Lord has done. There is a theme in, uh, happening in this gospel. It's just like a hidden theme. I will share it with you. So first... They came and told God, you are <clears throat> a leader of demons because what you are doing is not from God. Then the Lord called them and told them, if a kingdom is divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. And house divided against itself, house cannot stand. And Satan has risen up against himself and is divided. He cannot stand. When I was researching the sayings of the early church fathers about this, what Satan is doing, they said something very unique. They said, the what is the goal of the devil? What is the goal of the devil? One of the saints said this. To dominate the will of the man or the woman, to dominate the will. يقبض على الإرادة To dominate the will of the person. If you see, if you have dealt with addicts, they lose their will. People who are in addiction, they don't have their, their own will is gone. They cannot make decisions. You, you go back and forth and their will is, is gone. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not judging the people, but may so many of them have gone through very hard time. But in the end, their will is gone. Demon possessed people, what happens in their life? <laughs> their will is, is gone. They cannot do anything. They cannot make decisions. So one of the reasons why the devil is attacking or many main reason is to dominate the will of human beings or to deviate the will of human beings from the will of it will be even more intense. One of the goals of the devil is to dominate the will of man or to move the will of man from being aligned with the will of God, if this is the will of God and this is my own will, then my will is away from the will of God, so I'm, I'm, the, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not following God, I'm not under his will. So one of the main goals is to dominate the will of man so as it will never be under the will of God. It will never be under the will of God. Or to deviate the will of man to do anything other than doing the will of God, by any means. Because this what he did with Adam and Eve in the, in the garden. Do you think, uh, is it true that he told you do not eat from all? No, you shall surely not die. You will not die. And Eve said, look to the, to the tree and was tempted by how good is the, the fruit. And she said, you know what, you will be like God then. She did the mistake, the sin, and she broke the commandments of God and did her own will. That's why, fast forward, the first Eve disobeyed and did her... The first Eve disobeyed and did her own will. So as the second Eve... Who is the second Eve? St. Mary. So the second Eve will come and tell God... Let it be according to your word. No, 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 my will, no, no, it's not there. It is your word, it is your will, and I will submit to your will all the days of my life. 
you'll find the devil want to take the, the dominate the will of a human being then you will find that the lord is saying no one can enter a strong man's house which is the devil plunder his goods take away from him the souls that he captured unless the first he first binds the strong man he is stronger than him and then he will plunder his his house and be he will take over his own will and will be able to set free the those who are under his captivity let me ask you a weird question when sin will stop when killing will stop when human trafficking will stop when drug uh, selling and all this huge amount of billions of billions of billions of billions are spent in an evil path when this will stop I'm very serious about the question. When this will stop? It will not stop? No, it will stop. When there is no demand? No, there will be always demand. In the second coming? Yes, in the second coming, but something bad will happen in the second coming. When sin and evil will stop? Perfect. When the will of man is 100% under the will of, of God. Which means that, you take, that God will take away the free will of man. Khalas, you are no longer having your own will. And this happens in the second coming. So people are wondering, oh, why God is permitting all the... God is not permitting. <laughs> it is the evilness of the humanity that keeps going deeper and deeper and deeper in the evil way and away from the will of God. And you are saying, you know what, it is not the will of God. But people are, the devil is domina dominating or want to dominate the will of man. So, then the end of the, the, end of the, the gospel, then his brothers and his mother came standing outside. And they told him, where have you been? And then the, then the Lord answered the famous question he answered them saying who is my mother and who is my brother and he looked around in a circle to those who sat around him about him and said here are my mother and my brothers for whoever whoever does the will of God whoever does the will of my does the will of of God is my brother, sister, and mother. And definitely his mother <laughs> did the, exactly the will of God. The problem of us all our life is that we want to do, we live our on our own will and not submit our will to the will of God. No one is submitting the light. Abuna just mentioned it that last time. The the cancer of Humanity is stubbornness. What is stubbornness? <laughs> Doing your own will. Why families are broken? Husband wants to do something. The wife wants to do something. The kids wants to do another thing. Division. Why the churches are broken and divided? Deacons machine but maghum. Servants machine but maghum. We clergy are not united. Everybody is doing their own will. Division. Division, 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 destruction, death, destru all of the D words, <laughs> drugs, death. Uh, it is a major problem that we are all facing. It is a major problem that we are all facing. And if you go and check, what did the fathers of the church says about the free will of humanity or our free will? Many of them said this, that free will is a gift from God. God created man free and self-determining. He set before him life and death, and man has the power to choose between life and death. In the book of Exodus, they stood a very, very uh, important scene. The Lord brought all the children of Israel, and there was two, they are in the valley, and there was two mountains, a mountain, on the right and a mountain on the left. And the Lord told Moses to tell the people, I have put in front of you the way of death, 
the way of life and the way of death. You choose. You choose. God has put in front of you the way of obedience to him and the way of rebelling and disobedience. You have to choose. Even after the fall of man, <coughs> another one of the fathers said also, even after the fall of man, the will is retains its freedom. We still have free will, but it is weakened. And it needs divine assistance. It needs the grace of God to help us to do the will of God. Even St. Paul said, when I want to do the good things, I want to fast, and I have the, the fast in my mind, but I found a nice food, and I, I struggle with my own self, and I, I choose to break the fast and not to fast. And I have the struggle within me. I, I, I want to live a pure life, but I, I'm tempted to do uh, something that is wrong, and I go in this struggle. That's why the, the church father said, the, the will is weakened after the fall, but it needs divine assistance. It needs the grace of God. St. John Chrysostom, St. Athanasius, St. Cyril of Alexandria, many of them spoke about the, the need between the will, the will in order to strengthen the will of man that we need the grace of God to help us. We need the grace of God to help us. So if you live a life of disobedience and a life of your own way. And خلاص. I want to back off while not doing all what you are saying. I will live my life of my own way. So I did small comparison. If you rebel and you say, not, I will live my own, my own way, what is going to happen? You know, in the liturgy of uh, the Gregorian liturgy, I have picked to me, to myself, the sentence of death. When we, when Eve disobeyed, she picked the fruit, and when she picked the fruit, she didn't know that she's picking death. She didn't know that she's picking disobedience. She didn't know that she's picking separation from God. And when we disobey and live our life on our own will, we pick the sentence of death. You risk your own salvation. You know the, the story of the, the, the monk whom the angels were appearing to him. He was fasting two days after two days, and uh, the angels appeared to him, and they told him, you know what, you don't need to go to your father of confession to tell him, because the level of asceticism that you reached is way higher than your father of confession. He will envy you. So don't tell him anything. Don't tell your father of confession anything. A few days coming, we will come early morning and we will take you on a chariot as God took uh, Elijah on a fiery chariot. And he kept hiding, doing his own will, hiding this from his father of confession till the day came and the, uh, the angels appeared with the fiery chariot on the, on the fence of the, mo the monastery uh, very early in the middle of night and they told him, step in, in the fiery chariot, so as you will be able to be lifted up with Elijah. And he stepped in. He fell all the way. He screamed, a huge scream. So the monks woke up. They started running. His father of confession reached him before he breathed his last. He breathed his last, and he confessed. And he was... I hope so, that he was on the path of the will of God. It was his own will that he wants us to do. So when I rebel, or I choose to rebel or not to submit to God, I am picking the sentence of death to myself. I am risking my own salvation. I am going in the path of curse. Because when we disobey the commandment of God, the natural consequence is you lose the blessings. What happened for... Uh, for um, uh, Saul in the Old Testament, when he rebelled and he said, you know what, well, are, are we going to wait for Samuel to come and so as he can pray? I will pray. You are a king, you are not a priest. The, 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 the role of the priest to, to, to offer the sacrifice in front of God, it is not your role. He said, no, 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 who said this? And I said the rule and I will do what I want to do. Okay. 
Then the Holy Spirit departed from Saul from that moment because he chose to do his own will. No blessings. You are choosing curse. You are choosing, risking your own salvation. You are picking the sentence of death. You are separating yourself from the will of God because I tell God, I don't want to listen to you. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to submit my will to you. God resists the pride and give grace to those who are humble. The problem is, in all my own will is my own pride. This is the main problem. So what is the blessings if you submit? The blessings of if you submit. You will have the, bless you will have the blessings of obedience. Ala ibn ta'at hill al-baraka, the son of obedience, blessing will come. You will win earth and you will win heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are the meek, for they inherit earth. You will win when you are living a life of submission to God. You will win earth and you will win heaven. You will be like Christ himself on the Gethsemane when he said, Father, if you can remove this cup from me, but let it be according to your will and not according to my will. You will live in the virtues. The people who are living in submission to God, they are full of virtues. They are full of humility, faith, hope, even the life of purity. Something very strange that uh, the fathers of the church said, many people are struggling this struggle of lust. How to overcome lust? How to overcome the, 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 the passion of the flesh that is inside of us and to turn off the fire that is fire mangoa, fire mumbara, fire from inside, fire from outside. How to, who can conquer? Who, who can, can overcome all these temptations? The early, the saints in the, the monastic life, they said this. I want you to memorize this saying. The life of purity is a gift from God to those who are who are what? Who are humble. The life of purity is a gift from God to those who are humble. This is the, the, the whole thing. When I do the will of God, then I tell him, you know what, I cannot do it on my own. You keep trying, 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 trying for years. And I've seen people in years, years. Oh, look, I will stop doing this and I will stop being angry. I will stop seeing this website and I will stop seeing this person. And I will, okay. Be full of yourself and do whatever you want to do. In the end, the rule is without me, you can do nothing. Without me, without God, we can do nothing. So how, how to live a life? So if you live a life of submission, you will have blessings. You will win earth. You will win heaven. You will be like Christ. You will be like St. Mary. You will have the virtues of humility. You have the virtues of faith because you trust in the will of God. You will have hope because you trust in his words then in your reality. You will have life of purity because the gift, the life of purity is a gift from God to those who are living or those who are humble, those who are living in submission to God. So how? How to submit? how to submit. I will tell you very quickly. Seek first the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of God. If you are seeking the kingdom of God, then you are seeking him, then you will submit to his will. Understand the will of God. Understand the will of God. God does not understand the will of God. 
understand the will of God that God doesn't want to control your life. He wants your own salvation. He doesn't want to control you to so submit because he is not he's not in the business so he <laughs> so the one who controls everything does not need people to control him. <laughs> to does not people does not need people to be controlled by him. He's in control. He is the Pantocrator, Dabutul Kul, who has everything in his hands. He doesn't need you to obey him. It is your privilege and your uh, my honor, one of the people my honor to submit ourselves to God. One of the people told me, I wish, she, she's telling me this, I wish that God would remove all the options from my life and give me one option, and it is his will. <laughs> That's it. You remove all the options, all the schools that I'm applying for, he opened for me one school, and this is the school that I want. He removed all the people who are, I, I have a relationship with, he gave me one, and this is will be uh, his will. And actually, seeing, going back in her life, this is what happens. <laughs> this is what happens. She applies for 20 school, 19 denial, one wait list, wait list, wait list, she gets in. <laughs> as much as you are longing, as much as God will give you. Seek first the kingdom of heaven, understand the will of God. Know that there is blessings, blessing in earth and blessing in heaven for those who are. There is a great reward, the greatest reward. So when you submit, how to submit, seek first the kingdom of God, understanding as well. Blessing in, in, in earth for the meek and blessing in heaven, beget heaven for those who are poor in spirit. Metania mindset. When you have, when you do Metania, you put all your mind all the way down on earth, touch the ground, then I, I stand up. So I'm telling God all, all my thoughts, all my will that is away is, is bothering me, I'm putting it all the way to the earth in full obedience to you. It is the mindset of living in obedience to God. It is the mindset of changing the mind. I imitate, imitate when you, if you want to live a life of submission, imitate St. Mary, the second Eve, and all the saints. Look to all the saints. Give me one who rebelled. <laughs> Give me one who said no to God. Give me one who said, no, 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 no. Bible, uh, uh, take all what you have and sell it. Sell all what you have and uh, give to the poor and carry my cross and carry your cross. This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, millions said doesn't make any sense. One said, yes, I will be in obedience is St. Anthony. Last but not least, and this is, if you, uh, if you forget anything from all what we said, do only this. Every day, as much as... Disconnected. Every day we pray our Father who art in heaven, tell God this. Focus so much on it. Thy will be done, thy will be done, thy will be done, thy will be done. Give me, O Lord, that I will do your will to whom is the glory forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Amen.